unplanned delivery costs with standard price. Let's understand first what unplanned delivery costs are. Unplanned delivery costs are actually it's this where at the time of releasing a purchase order we don't know what the delivery cost is going to be. We can't get this information from the vendor. The vendor just says we're not sure. We'll know it only when we deliver the stock. So when they deliver the stock, when they deliver the goods, when the vendor delivers the goods, during the GR, we will not know what the real cost is. So when they send the invoice, only then will we know the real cost that is stated by the vendor on the invoice. So at the time of receiving the invoice from the vendor, we will know what the delivery cost is. So how are we going to post this? There are two ways of posting unplanned delivery costs. The first is, the first way, you can distribute the amount of delivery costs to all the invoice items. The second way is you can actually post the delivery costs to a GL account directly. So how can we determine which method to use? Okay. This can be configured here. I'll show you where it can be configured. Go to SPRO. We'll go to Material Management. We'll go to Logistics Invoice Verification. All right, incoming invoice. See this? Configure how unplanned delivery costs are posted. Go in here. Go to the Sun Company Code. This is defining the company code level. Okay. All right, we are already there. Just choose one of these options here. Posting delivery costs. Press F4. Distribute amount invoice items. By default, blank means it'll be distributed among invoice items. If I choose two, then I can actually specify which GL account to post the amount to. Let me try it with distribute among the invoice items first, then we can choose the second one. All right, how are we going to post this? Let's say we are receiving the delivery cost information only when we get the vendor invoice. So let us try on the, what we call the standard price. Standard price first, ME21N, because we have two unplanned delivery costs, standard price and MAP. We want to see both, but now let's try the standard price first. Go to Document Overview, On, Purchase Orders, Choose 087, execute it, copy, get tire A, now unplanned delivery costs with standard price. So this is using standard price as you know, so I'm going to write I'm going to save this so we cannot enter the delivery cost here because this is not plant one. We've done plant one. We can enter in the purchase order only with the planned delivery costs because you won't know what the delivery cost is to enter during the invoice entry. We just save this so we get a purchase order. Let's do Migo so nothing will be posted in Migo so that the delivery costs will not be posted. Of course, you have not entered any. Item OK. Post it. Enter storage location. WH1. Post.
OK. OK, the document is posted. NMB03. There will be no delivery cost posted. As you can see, there is no delivery cost. So, well, we didn't enter any conditions. We'll just go and do a Mayo. Enter the PO. Oh, I've lost the PO. I need to select it again. NME 23N. The last created purchase order will be defaulted there. And we go to Display. Oh, not really. I mean, I can change that. It is 101. I can't remember. Invoice date is that. And press Enter. OK now. So there's no delivery cost as well, right? Because it was not entered in the daily purchase order. So let us enter the tax and so forth. I'll let you know that under the unplanned delivery costs. 450. So in order to enter the unplanned delivery costs, OK. You need to go to the Details tab. You can see this, Unplanned Delivery Costs. Enter here the amount. Let's say, for example, when we receive the invoice, we will make known that $100 has been charged to us as a freight cost or a customs cost or whatever, delivery cost that we want to classify. $100 now. The next thing I need to do is uh, press Enter. So it's 660. I need to enter 660 here, inclusive of tax. So 500 is the stock value, which is added to the delivery cost of it's 100. So 600. So with 10% tax, it'll be 660. Now I simulate. It should be posted to a price difference. Yeah. The $100 is posted to the price difference because our tire A is using standard price. All right. Let's post this. OK, there is one thing that we didn't see how the system is going to divide the and distribute the unplanned delivery costs among the invoice items. All right. Since uh, all the materials are using the standard price, we can't really see how the $100 of unplanned cost is distributed among the GLM items. To watch the full video, buy our SAP training videos at www.erptraining9.com.